We also could not leave this one out. Oh, no. uh, yeah, put this up on the screen. So just incredible Washington brain here. Incredible Washington <laughs> brain. Opinion piece written by Kathleen Parker. Democrats are wrestling with an age-old problem. Maybe Hillary Clinton could come to the rescue. And this piece is really funny. I read it yesterday because it starts off with some solid analysis. It's like, you know what? Biden's really old. That's a problem. Voters have a problem with that. Mm -hmm. We can see him slow down. It's not just spin. She wasn't trying to say it was the media, whatever. What She's like, no, we, we can see, right? And part of the issue is that people don't have faith in Kamala Harris as vice president. Okay, mm -hmm. true. Yes. And she even made a point of saying, this isn't about a race or identity. It's just they haven't seen her to be a competent actor. Okay, well, I'm, I'm with you so far. Then the final analytical leap that is just, like I said, the most incredible example of Beltway brain. And she says, so what they should do is drop Kamala from the ticket mm -hmm. and sub in Hillary yes. Clinton. Yes. Now, I want to correct myself because I think on Monday, I think I said that Joe Biden might be the worst possible Democrat to have at the top of the ticket. I don't think that's correct. I think Hillary Clinton would be worse than Joe Biden. From an electoral perspective, I think she would actually be worse. So congratulations to this columnist for coming up with one of the worst ideas I've yeah. literally ever heard. No one has mentioned her as a possible <laughs> running mate for Biden, as far as I know, but why not replace Harris with Clinton? At 76, she might want no part of it, but it's hard to retire when you feel your job isn't done. If Biden needs to step down, even those who didn't vote for Clinton would have confidence in her ability Blech. to keep the country on track. Oh. It's just a thought. But worse ideas have Don't been met with regrettable Don't you feel confident in her success. ability to keep the country on track? Somebody actually, uh, <laughs> some pro-Clinton person was like, this should have been the last year of Hillary's presidency. And I'm like, oh my God, thank God that didn't happen. I mean, I can't even imagine. Okay, uh, but also just, I think on the most basic level, yeah, okay? Course. The most basic level, this woman has a literal track record of losing to Donald mm -hmm. Trump. So if you're trying to solve the problem, just the discrete problem of like, we want to beat Donald Trump and we don't think this is the ticket that's really designed to do that. Why do you reach to the person who already lost to him? It's and amazing. who uh, is arguably less, you know, less uh, popular than Kamala Harris in terms of her negatives, like for unfavorables. Yes. We showed everybody a video, uh, graphic yesterday, the hate both parties. Yeah. Uh, the highest it's ever been was this year, uh, this election. Guess what the previous higher it's ever been? Hillary. Right. <laughs> it's like, how, why would you pick somebody who explicitly is hated by so much of the public? That said, Hillary's not going away. Uh, she, raising some eyebrows, made a surprise appearance at the Tony Awards. Let's take a listen. What a great evening. I have stood on a lot of stages, but this is very special. And I know a little bit about how hard it is to make change. So I'm extremely proud of this original American musical by Shana Taub. And of course, it is about some American originals, the suffragists who fought so valiantly for so long to give women in our country the right to vote. It's almost impossible to think about what a challenge that was, but now it's an election year and we need to be reminded about how important it is to vote. You know, she, right. she may want to take those uh, words back given that we just covered the fact yeah, that right. frequent you don't voters want are going voting. to Republicans, so. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I, look, I don't know. Uh, everyone is, I think it's generally like low IQ nonsense when they're like, they're going to replace Michelle or they're going to replace so and so. I don't yeah. think that's going to happen unless Biden literally dies, like dies or has a debilitating stroke. And I hope that doesn't happen. Uh, but with Hillary, I don't know. She's always positioning herself. She's always working the angles. That's like the Clinton MO. And she's ready. She's there uh, if she wants to assume. So maybe that's the calculus. Maybe she enjoys. I don't know. Maybe I, she wants I, a I cabinet position next time around. Oh, my God. That would be even horrible. <laughs> would horrible, you put it horrible. that? Oh, my yeah, that's, yeah. Can you imagine? I mean, but, if we get her back in the cabinet, that'd be a, night, a nightmare. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't, I don't, uh, the ticket is what it is. Like, mm -hmm. all this, the fantasy. I've, and our position on this show has always been that Joe Biden is going to be, you know, is not going to leave. He is, there's no, you know, back room where they're plotting to sub him out for Michelle Obama or, you know, Ryan's idea. They're going to put in Barack Obama on the ticket with him or whatever. Like, uh, Ryan doesn't think that's going to happen. He's just saying if they actually wanted to win, that would be a smart maneuver. None of that is 
none of that is happening. This is the ticket. You know, it's not going to be Hillary. It's not going to be Michelle Obama. That's the weird way. Conservatives are obsessed with this idea that there's yeah, some Michelle secret plot weird. to sub in Michelle Obama. And, uh, yeah, you know, that, I think you guys have a lot more confidence in, like, the desire of the Democratic Party to actually win than you should have. So, mm -hmm. um, in any case, that's where we are. That's right. Uh, oh, and one other thing we wanted to get in here. This has yeah. been driving me nuts. The White House uh, spin on the Biden videos is they've invented a new term. So you, Chris, will remember misinformation. That, yeah. You know, took over everything. Then yeah. uh, Spawned mal whole industry. Yeah, m misinformation, then disinformation. Right. Then there was malinformation. Malinformation is video is information that is true, but it's bad information. Oh. Or it's not complete information. <laughs> so uh, you guys will remember the term deep fake, right? So now what the White House has done is they have coined a new term uh, served up by their media masters and they're working together called cheap fake, where it is a video that they don't like oh. and doesn't present the whole context. <laughs> so we have a video here of the White House talking about how angry they are about these videos showing Biden being old. And uh, they're like, this is so out of context. This is outrageous. Let's take a listen. Ironically, several, several recent cheap fakes actually attacked the president for thanking troops for thanking troops, that is what they're attacking the president for. Both in Normandy, this happened, and again in Italy. And uh, I think that it tells you everything that we need to know about how um, how desperate, how desperate Republicans are here. Uh, and uh, instead of talking about the president's performance in office, and what I mean by that is his legislative wins, what he's been able to do for the American people across the country, we're seeing these deep fakes, uh, these manipulated videos. Uh, and it is, again, done in bad faith. Deep fake. Uh, they changed that, by the way, because they didn't understand what the term. So there's this guy, Andrew Bates. If anyone has Twitter, I encourage you go, to go and follow him. His entire feed is trying to debunk these Biden age videos. Really? And, yeah, and he all actually works for the White House. Yeah, no, he yeah. works at the White House. That's his whole job is just on, <laughs> out here. And he's like, cheap fake, cheap fake, cheap, deep fake, cheap. These people have no like sense of, of reality as to what this is. So anyway, uh, keep an eye out. You heard it here first. Cheap fake is the new misinformation, disinformation, whatever. That's what they have to come up with. And she was specifically responding to the, the video we that played, we played yesterday. yesterday. In full context, by the way. Right. We showed we, everybody we the full thing. We played the whole thing. video. Yeah. But yeah, like you said, and so even to call it a deep fake. It's like outrageous. That, that word has a meaning. Yes. The meaning is that it's actually altered, yeah. right? In she, some and, fundamental and she way. she said manipulated. That's not manipulated video. Okay. You could say it wasn't <laughs> clipped, right? Out of context. You know, words have meaning. Right. They actually do. They should. Not to these folks. Yeah. So maybe. anyway, cheap fake. You guys heard it here. That's the new malinformation. Just wait. You're going to see it everywhere. I already do. I, I Googled cheap fake this morning. Washington Post stories uh, citing the cheap fake. PolitiFact, cheap, cheap fake, fake videos of uh, Joe Biden. It's everywhere. It, it's <laughs> this, this is the new media that well, we live in. Just... Last thing on this. Yeah. It would be one thing. You might have some credibility to say that if it was one moment. Yeah, it, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we played you multiple, just yesterday, we played you multiple moments that are, you know, him wandering, him dazed, him mm -hmm. confused, him doing weird, you know, head thing with the Pope. Like, mm -hmm. anyway, people you are not old stupid. Like that behind the wheel squinting that way? Change lane. <laughs> Change lanes. Even Democrats, the number one word they associate yeah, with their Yeah, is old. <laughs> yeah. Okay? Okay. That's the reality. Right. Thank you. It's not a cheap fake. Hey, if you like that video, hit the like button or leave a comment below. It really helps get the show to more people. And if you'd like to get the full show ad-free and in your inbox every morning, you can sign up at breakingpoints.com. That's right. Get the full show. Help support the future of independent media at breakingpoints.com.